New details in a Clark Atlanta student's murder. Alexis Crawford. A detective testifying one of the suspects hid in Crawford's apartment for four days after she accused him of rape, then burst out of the bedroom and choked her. That suspect, the boyfriend of Crawford's roommate, the roommate also charged in the murder. And from what we have seen in court so far, the boyfriend and the roommate may be trying to blame each other for what happened. Yeah, a really compelling day in court today. 11 Alive's Deborah Tuff explains what we've learned up to now, Deb. You know, we knew from police reports before that after the alleged sex assault, Alexis Crawford was too scared to sleep in her own room. Today, the detective testified Alexis had no idea her roommate Jordan Jones sneaked her boyfriend, Baron Brantley, back into the apartment after the alleged sex assault and that he stayed hidden, sometimes in the apartment along with Crawford while the roommate was in class. Crawford was first reported missing November 1st by her family. Police interviewed her roommate, Jordan Jones, who told police she'd gone to bed October 30th. When she woke up, Crawford was gone. But Detective Michael Young testified today surveillance video from the apartment parking deck showed Jones was lying. It shows at 3.11 a.m. on the 31st, uh, Jordan Jones and Brantley going out to Jones' car, backing up. They're off camera for about six or seven minutes. There's a door that leads to her apartment where she backed up to. Um, leave the apartment complex at 318. Young says the video showed they came back about an hour later and he testified Jones eventually admitted she and Crawford got into a physical fight. And that's when Brantley, who'd been hiding in the apartment, popped out of the bedroom and choked her. The detective says Brantley says Jones took it a step further. Uh, Jordan Jones put a plastic bag over her head. Jones allegedly told police after realizing Crawford was dead, they put her in a bin and dumped it in the park. The detective said Jones was the one who led police to the body. Her hands were bound and a blue T-shirt was around her neck. The detective said Jones's parents had given her the bin the body was dumped in. And her parents were coming down to move her out and she needed the reason why the bin was missing. Now, Detective Young testified after they dumped the body, Barrett and Jones returned home, slept, and then went to a Halloween party that night. Now, coming up at 6, the testimony filling in questions about the alleged sex assault we told you about and what actually happened that night. Jeff? All right, Deborah, thank you. If you need a refresher on how this case has transpired so far and its tragic details, be sure to check out 11alive.com. There you can find a comprehensive timeline of Alexis Crawford's disappearance it's on the As Seen on TV section of our 11 Alive app.